guys a very 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 warm welcome to all of you i hope all you guys are having a super amazing day going on so i welcome you all to my session if you do not know who i am my name is mohan master teacher of science from vedantu and a very warm welcome to vedantu young wonders if you guys are new here don't you forget to hit that subscribe button and also click on the like button so what exactly are we going to be looking at today is a very interesting chapter you all know we are in the chapter that is heat and this is the second session of this chapter all right so what specifically we'll be learning today in this chapter is the transfer of heat okay so saying that i hope all of you guys are ready if you are ready don't forget to hit on that subscribe and also hit on that like button to mark your attendance with that let's get started okay now you all know this is for grade 7 grade 7th and this is heat and temperature ka chapter part 2 Got it? Yes. Now, guys, let's see what are all the different topics that we all have in this chapter, right? So we all have seen hot and cold is done. Clinical versus laboratory thermometer is also done. So both of these topics are done. Today's class will be focusing on the transfer of heat, that is conduction and convection, land breeze, sea breeze, and also about radiation is what we'll be learning in today's session. All right, let's go forward. Yes, and if you guys are there on Instagram, do not forget to follow me on Instagram. My handle is learn underscore with underscore Mohan. You will get all the updates there. So follow me there. Cool guys. So first, we are, now we'll talk about transfer of heat. Guys, we all have already understood that heat is a form of energy which transfers to a from a hotter body to a colder body, right? Now, how does this heat even transfer? How does it move from one place to the next place? All right, so heat always flows from the hotter object to the colder object. For example, let's say you all take a ice cube in your hand. Keep the ice cube in your hand and close your fist. Now, what will happen after some time? The ice cube starts to melt. Now, why is that? The heat from your body is getting transferred to the ice cube, and the ice cube starts melting. So, heat transfers from a hotter body to a colder body all right now there are three ways or three methods by which heat can transfer from one object to the next object all right what are those three ways one is conduction the other one is convection and the third one is radiation so conduction convection and radiation got it now let's talk about all of these three things separately all right first thing before that it's also very important that we all get to know what exactly are conductors and insulators right so guys the materials which allow the heat to pass through them they are like yes you can flow such type of materials are called as conductors examples we have aluminium iron copper all of these are examples of conductors on the other hand we have the insulators which are the materials which do not allow electric or current or do not allow heat okay <laughs> do not allow heat to pass through them easily it's the same in terms of electricity also if they allow electric current to pass through them conductors if they don't allow electric current to pass through them insulators same okay so water and air both are very poor conductors of heat poor conductors of heat it's also a good thing you know i'll tell you how all right let's now go forward you have the examples of conductors over there so you have copper you have aluminium you have steel or any of the metals most of the metals are conductors then you have the insulators where you have plastic cloth rubber glass wood all of these are insulators that we all have all right let's go forward cool now let us first now talk about conduction guys you we have experienced this in our everyday life also how many of you guys while playing with fire you have kept a knife in the fire and after some time your hand starts to burn like this where is it like this why does your hand start to burn because the heat from the flame got transferred through the metal to my hand so heat transfer happened from where to where did the heat transfer happen the heat transfer happened from the hotter end to the colder end i repeat again 
the heat transfer here happened from the hotter end to the colder end. This is the hotter end, right? This is the hot end. And towards where? To the colder end. It transferred like this. So such type of heat transfer, okay, where it, uh, heat is transferred from the hotter end to the colder end of an object is known as conduction. Alright, in solids, all of the solids, generally the heat is transferred by this process only. In all of the solids, take any example, heat is transferred by conduction only. For example, this pan right here, heat is getting transferred from here to the hand. In, what is the mode of transfer? Conduction. Simple. Okay. Now, let's go forward. Alright, the next thing is convection. Sir, we learnt about solids. Now, what about gases and liquids? The transfer of heat in liquids and gases. In liquids and gases specifically. Is called as convection. Got it? So, in solids, generally the heat is transferred by conduction. In liquids and gases, it's transferred by conduction. And how does this happen in the liquids? by the movement of molecules the molecules are moving you can see there is a pot here there are water molecules present once the molecules are heated up once they gain that energy they go up the hotter molecules go up so that the cooler molecules will come down take its place so this cycle keeps on happening okay so here due to the movement of molecules the heat is getting transferred. The same thing happens in the air also. For example, if you take a hot air balloon. Okay. You might, you might have seen people burning fire in the hot air balloon here. Okay. What will happen? The hot air rises up. And the cold air comes down. Here also heat is getting transferred because of movement of air molecules. Because we all know warm air rises up. Clear? So same. Even in liquids, even in gases, it's, it happens with the help of convection only. Now, since we are talking about convection, look at this. The air near the heat source gets hot and rises. Exactly as I told you. It gets hot and it rises up. The air from the sides start coming to its place and this is how air is also getting uh, heated. The same example I told you, the hot air balloon. Right. Bachchon ke marks jitane kam aate hain, papa ka volume utane hi badhe aata hai. Ye utane hi badhe. Par kabhi socha hai ke marks badhane ki zimmedari sirf bachchon ki hi kyo? Ab Vedantu marks badhane ki zimmedari lega. Varna, aapki puri fees wapas. Next one guys. So, since we just saw about convection, let us see how convection is happening in our real life. Let's talk about sea breeze. Alright, how many of you guys have gone to a beach, sat there for a while and enjoyed the cool air coming from the ocean? Have you guys enjoyed the cool air coming from the ocean? That's called sea breeze. Right, so during the daytime what happens is, you can see the land is very hot. During the daytime, the land is very hot, so all the hot air rises up. Alright, so during the daytime, the land in the coastal areas get heated due to the sun's radiation. Now, the sea also gets heated, however, it takes more time to get heated compared to land. Land becomes hot faster. Alright, now, the hot air from the land is raising up as it is lighter. And the cool air from the sea is coming towards the land. The hot air raises up. One second. The hot air is raising up. Becoming lighter. So the cool air from the sea is coming towards the land. Right. Since the cool air is coming from the sea, it's called as it's called as sea breeze. So from wherever cool air comes, I find most of you guys having confusions with land breeze and sea breeze. Sea breeze is where the cool air comes from the sea 
Land breeze is where the cool air comes from the land. Alright? Yes. So, this results in the sea breeze. Simple. Next. Land breeze is opposite. Land breeze is during the night time. The wind moving from the land towards the sea is the land breeze. During the night time, the land in the coastal areas gets cooled down faster and the ocean takes some time. No, it's slower to cool down. Therefore, the air above the sea will raise up and the air from the land will go towards the sea. The exact opposite happens, guys. The exact opposite happens in the night time. Now tell me, where is the cool air coming from? The cool air flows towards the sea. That means cool air is coming from the land. So it's called as land breeze. Got it? Next, what is radiation? Radiation is very cool. If you go outside, stand in the uh, you know, sun, you'll feel very hot. Why? Because the sun is giving its energy on us. It's, it's shining brightly on us. But how is the heat getting transferred all the way from the sun to the earth? There is no medium, but still heat is getting transferred. So, in the process of transfer of heat, in the form of waves, that is how the sun's heat reaches the earth or the earth's surface is through radiation. So, every hot object will radiate some heat in the environment. For example, let's say there is a very hot metal rod. You bring it closer to your skin. Without touching it, you can feel its warmth. It's because every hot object will radiate heat. Alright? Yes. So, radiation doesn't require any medium. Conduction happens in solids. Convection happens in liquids and gases. Radiation doesn't need any medium. Okay? Now, the types of clothes that we wear in summer and winter. Guys, we all know woolen clothes keep us warm because wool is a poor conductor of heat. Not just that, in between the woolen particles, air is trapped and we saw air and water are poor conductors. That's why we stay very warm when it is very cold outside because heat is not escaping from the body. Okay, now, we wear light colored clothes during the summer because light color reflects more light. We wear dark colored clothes during the winter because dark colors absorb more heat. Light colors reflect, dark colors absorb. That's why light colored clothes in summer and dark colored clothes in winter. Got it? Simple as that guys, I hope all of you understood how the heat transfer happens in conduction convection and radiation as well okay now something even more important guys i am i'm you guys already know that there are amazing ai courses which are starting at vedantu and this ai courses you're getting it for how much for the entire academic year you're getting this 6 to 12 for all the grades every grade there is a ai class okay for just 4500 all you have to do is go to the link here for the entire academic year it's just 4500 click on this link once you click on that link, you can see this picture here of Pritesh sir smiling at us. Now scroll down, you will have 400 hours of teaching, school ka full syllabus, study materials and test series, plus classes by top master teachers, live doubt solving, 100% doubts are solved in the class itself. Because you will be having dedicated class teachers. Plus live quizzes and leaderboards test series with solutions for just 4,500 for the entire academic year. Look at this. In class doubt solving, quizzes, leaderboards, study material, assignments and class notes. You have live classes by master teachers. So much more for just 4,500 guys. So trust me, the batches are starting very soon. Don't get delayed. Don't make it late. Join in right away. Enjoy the entire year course for just 4,500, not just classes, so much more, right? So much, so much more. <laughs> All right, so sign up right today, guys, because the batches are starting very soon. All right, yes. Now, guys, I am going to be quickly including, if you guys are here, join our Telegram group. This is the link to join our Telegram group. And also, if you are new here, do not forget to hit on the subscribe button and also hit on the like to mark your attendance. And guys, I'm attaching a week quiz link below this video make sure you guys all attempt the week quiz 
and then let me know how much you guys have learned. So I'll be checking the results of the week quiz to see how well you guys have understood what we learned in today's class. Alright, so I hope all of you had fun what we learned today guys. We'll definitely meet up in the coming class. So until then, this is me Mohan signing off. All of you take care, stay safe, stay as lovely as always you guys are. Bye-bye. Exam se pehle ghar wale shuru ho Bata abdu pilo beta. Marks ke lena, tips har koi deta hai. That's why Vedanta improvement promise. Now Vedanta will take the responsibility of marks. Otherwise, you will get your full fees.